Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai, Kol Halayim La Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Baracha Kodash, which means uh, all praises to Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham is in the name Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Baracha Kodash means in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, the only the only way you can worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel in truth and in sincerity, always in charity. And um, Lord willing, it's a quick, edifying, and exhorting lesson, man. Uh, as you can see, the uh, the title of the lesson is entitled "Let Not Your Sins Weigh You Down." You know, because uh, within this walk of ours, you know, um, we get into um, slumps. Uh, you know, for lack of a better word, where um. You pretty much feel unworthy, you know, like is 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 more heavy on you than than usual. You know, you feel like you're not doing enough, you know, you feel like you're constantly fucking up, you know, and and and, and you just feel real low in the spirit, man. You know, and in those moments, you know, those moments that's when the um um the spirit should kick in the most, you know, as it is written, you know, um and and uh as Paul said, you know, through through my weakness. I am strong, you know, so in those weak moments, when we're in those low moments in the spirit, you know, uh, Yahweh Shai's strength shows within us, man, you know, through the Holy Spirit, man, when 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 these different precepts pop in our minds and continue to uh, to uh, have us uh, continue to push forward, you know, so without further ado, let's get the scripture, you know, Lord willing, I, I hope and pray that this 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 message is um comforting, you know, for when uh, brothers, you know, when 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 that spirit you know, comes upon brothers, you know, because we all go through that, you know, but this is uh, the book of Second Edge 16, and I'm going to start at 75. It says, Be ye not afraid, neither dot, for the Most High is your guide, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord Power, and that's the key thing right there, man. You know, those men who are striving, who are striving, who are, who, who are putting in their, their, their effort, their energy, their mind, their soul, you know, into serving Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai, man. And Lord willing, you know, we were going to get into that a little bit more into the lesson. This is the point. It says, let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. You see? Because the thing says, matter of fact, let me get this scripture right here. Uh, Sirach 17, 25. Return unto the Lord and forsake thy sins. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. That's all we can do. We're in this body of death, you know. So we're going to fuck up, man. As it is written. I go grab this. This is the book of uh, Proverbs. Chapter 24 and 16. It says, For a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again. So all we can do is offend less. That's why the scripture says, let not our sins weigh us down and let not our iniquities lift up themselves. Meaning what? That, 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 that we put our body in the subjection, that we strive and do what's right in the eyes of the Lord to the best of our ability. Is that saying that we're never going to fuck up? Is that saying we're never going to go off? No, because a just man falls seven times. That's a part about being in this body of death. That's why we cry and yearn to be clothed with our body from heaven. That's the hope. You see? According to 1 John, the third chapter, man, he that have this hope in himself purifieth himself even as he is pure, even as Yahweh Shai is pure. So our hope is to be like him, to be in a glorious body like he is. You see? But it says, verse 16, for a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again. That's the key thing. Riseth up again, man. We're going to continue to fuck up. But the point is rising up again. But the wicked shall fall into mischief. You know? We are not those that draw back into perdition, man. So this is the mindset that we must uh, uh, have. Matter of fact, let me um, grab this uh, this uh, 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 steel. It's, it's the spirit because um, we were talking about this in um, in the bishop's room, in the Chicago room, you know, and and we we was just you know supping in the spirit with each other. And then uh, Elder Ariala down in Dallas, he posted this in the WhatsApp, and it was perfect timing, man. It's, it's all of the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah, you know? But it says right here, it says, if everything you tell yourself about yourself becomes directive, Salaki, let me read that again. 
If everything you tell yourself about yourself becomes a directive to your subconscious mind, then any time you make a statement about yourself that is negative, you are directing your subconscious mind to make you become the person you just described negatively. You see, that's why we ought not to be in that woe is me spirit. That's why Sirach says what sorrow hath killed many. So drive sorrow far from thy mind. You see. We should have joy and hope within the in, in, in what the Lord has given us. Lord willing, we're going to uh, get into that into the lesson. It says if your self-talk, right, you, 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 you speaking to yourself, right? If your self-talk, the directions you wire into your subconscious mind will do that. Don't you suppose it will do whatever else you tell it to do? If you were to reprogram someone strongly enough for them to believe that it was safe to drive to an intersection and turn the wrong way into oncoming traffic, they would do it. The human brain will do anything possible you tell it to do if you tell it often enough and strongly enough. And we can see that through uh, uh, Esau Edom and his uh, uh, his media, his manipulative, that word is hard for me, manipulate, manip, manipulative anyway through through esau and uh, um and his um his programming his uh his persuasiveness you know through the media through uh, uh, uh videos through music and that's what that's reprogramming the mind well that's the same thing that yahweh basham yahweh is doing with us with these words romans the 12th chapter the second verse it says be uh be not conformed with this world don't be with the form of this world but be ye transformed with the renewing of your mind and that's what the Lord is doing with us, man, by, by the washing of the word. You see, it says, but the human brain will do anything possible you tell it to do if you tell it often enough and strongly enough. If you tell it the wrong thing about yourself, that is what it will accept and act upon. So if you constantly, woe is me, if you constantly, I I'm wicked and I ain't worthy of this and I ain't worthy of that. Well, then th those actions are going to follow, man. Those thoughts are going to permeate into your uh, 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 more into your brain. It says the subconscious mind does not see the difference between the statement that we are clumsy and the statement that we are graceful, well coordinated and in control. It does not know the difference between being told that we are poor and the statement that we are wealthy. It accepts our programming just as we give it. So it's the mindset. It's the mindset. So when Satan come into our minds and say you are not worthy. Well, well, you hit his ass with these scriptures, man. For okay, we said a just man falleth seven times and picketh himself up again. Let's go from there to Isaiah 64 and uh, verse 6. It says, I started at 5. It says, Thou meetest him that rejoiceth and worketh righteousness, those that remember thee in thy ways. Behold, thou art wroth, for we have sinned. In, in those is continuance and we shall be saved. It says, verse six, but we are as are all as an unclean thing and all our righteousness are as filthy rags and we do all fade as a leaf in our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. So it says all of our righteousness are as filthy rags. What did Paul write? This is Romans three and twenty three. It says. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of the heavenly father. So comparing the, uh, what, what, are we worthy to be saved? No. Are we worthy to be in the presence of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Hell no, nah, man. You see? But what did the Lord say, man? This is Isaiah. Salakia. This is Isaiah 3. And so lucky, bear with me. I think it's two. Nope, it's Isaiah six. I'm sorry. This verse five, it's Isaiah six and five. Then said I, woe is me, for I am undone because I am a man of unclean lips. And I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the king, the Lord of hosts. How about Sham Yahushua? So he like, man, you know, I'm seeing this wonderful uh, 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 vision. You know, the Lord has come to me. You know, I am unclean. I'm not worthy. Right. 
Verse 6, then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongs from off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this hath touched thy lips, and thy iniquity is taken away, and thy sin is purged, man. So whom Yahweh Basham Yahweh has cleansed, call that now common or unclean. And that's talking about ourselves as well, man. Yahweh Basham Yahweh has put his word, that living coal, into our spirits, man. We are purged. We are cleansed through the water of the word, man. As, uh, as Yahweh Shah said in the book of John, the 15th chapter. Now are we cleansed through the word which, which Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah speaketh unto us, man. You see? And are we worthy of that, man? Let's let's go to Jeremiah, uh, not Jeremiah, Genesis 32 and 10. This is our, our, our forefather, man. This is a, a matter of fact, start at nine. And Jacob said, O power of my father Abraham and power of my father Isaac, Yahweh, which said it's unto me, return unto thy country and to thy kindred, and I will deal well with thee. That's what the Lord told us, right? Return unto me, return unto thy nation, return unto thy kindred, thy forefathers. Verse 10, I am not worthy of the least of all the mercies and of all the truth which thou hast showed unto thy servant. For with my staff, I passed over this Jordan. And now I am become two bands, man. So even Jacob said, I am not worthy of the mercies and of this truth, man. But yet what? That's what that's that's that that's what makes it. Makes us glorious in the eyes of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. It's the second address eight. In 48, it says in this also thou art marvelous before the most high and that thou hast humbled thyself as it becometh thee and has not judged thyself worthy to be much glorified among the righteous. So that's the mind that the, the mindset is, is what, of course, we're not worthy of what Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai has given us. Why? Because we're all come short of the glory. What, 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 what do we say? This is the book of uh, Ecclesiastes 7. In uh, verse 20, it says, for there is not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not. <laughs> you see? So. It is what it is, man. This is how it was set up. So we're putting these bodies in order to hope in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, in order to cry out to him, in order to rely on him more and more. As it is written, we are given this, uh, uh, uh. Let me tell you, let me get that. This is 2 Corinthians 4 and 7. But we have this treasure, this knowledge, this truth in earthen vessels in these wretched bodies that the excellency of the power may be of the most high and not of us, man. This is all a part of the Lord's uh, um, 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 will. This is all a part of his movie. You see? Because why? This is, let's go to, uh, let's get the prayer of Manasseh. And this is a heavy prayer too. Um, I'm not going to read the whole thing. Let's start here. It says right here uh, 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 beneath the uh, circle. It says, matter of fact, let's start right here where the circle is. It says, thou therefore, O Lord, that art the power of the just, has not appointed repentance to the just as to Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, which have not sinned against thee, but thou hast appointed repentance, Salake, but thou hast appointed repentance unto me that am a sinner. For I have sinned above the number of the sands of the sea, right? The same, the same thing, the uh, thoughts that go into our heads, man. King David said, My sins are ever before me, right? It says. My transgressions, O Lord, are multiplied. My transgressions are multiplied, and I am not worthy to behold and see the height of heaven for the multitude of my iniquities, right? I am by down with many iron bands that I cannot lift up my head. Neither have I any release, for I have provoked thy wrath and done evil before thee. I did not thy will, neither kept I thy commandments. I have set up abominations and have multiplied offenses. Now, therefore, I bow the knee of my heart, and this thou art marvelous, right? Because we humbled ourselves, you see? It says, now, therefore, right here below the circle, now, therefore, I bow the knee of my heart, beseeching thee of grace. I have sinned, O Lord, I have sinned, and I acknowledge my iniquities. That's the key thing right there. 
Wherefore, I humbly beseech thee, forgive me, O Lord, forgive me and destroy me not with my iniquities. Be not angry with me forever by reserving evil for me. Neither condemn me to the lower parts of the earth, for thou art the power, even the power of them that repent. And in me, thou will show all thy goodness, for thou will save me that am unworthy according to thy great mercy. Therefore, I will praise thee forever all the days of my life, for all the powers of the heavens do praise thee, and thine is the glory forever and ever. Amen. You see? So the Lord is going to save those who are unworthy of mercy, man. And that, that shows the mercy of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. Let's get that too. This is the book of Second uh, Edris 8 and 31. It says, for we and our fathers do languish of such diseases, meaning what? Being in his body, man, being subject unto sin. But because of us sinners, thou shalt be called merciful. For if thou has a desire to have mercy upon us, thou shalt be called merciful to us, namely, that have no works of righteousness. <laughs> All of our righteousness are as filthy rags. For the just which have many good works laid up with thee shall out of their own deeds receive reward. For what is man that thou shouldest take pleasure at him? Or what is a corruptible generation that thou shouldest be so bitter towards it? For in truth, there is no man among them that be born, but he hath dealt wickedly, and among the faithful there is none which have not done amiss. For in this, O Lord, thy righteousness and thy goodness shall be declared, if thou be merciful unto them which have not the confidence of good works, man. So the Lord is, is, is showing his mercy and his goodness within us. And that's why King David said, oh, Lord, who, who, what am my house and, and who, who is thy servant that thou has, has given me such a great promise as this in 2 Samuel, the seventh chapter. But yet when you read down, he said, what, Lord, what you said concerning thy servant, do as thou hast said and establish thy word. So it's the same thing with us, man. We are unworthy to be saved, but yet the Lord said he's going to show his mercy. He's going to show his salvation into those men who are unworthy. So therefore, Lord, perform thy word. You see? And that's what it's about, man. The hope. The hope. From there, let's get... um. Let's get the book of Matthew 19. Let's lock like it, Matthew 9, in verse 12. It says, But when Yahweh shall heard that, he said unto them, They that behold need not a physician, but they that are sick. So we got to acknowledge that we are sick. We got to acknowledge that we are full of disease, which is what? Being in this body. Verse 13, But go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice. For I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. So all us within this faith, all of us that believe in Yahweh Shah, the first thing is acknowledging that we all fucked up, man. You see, this is uh, the book of Psalms 32 and 1. It says, a psalm of David, Mescal, blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. We have to have sin first in order for Yahweh Shah to cover us. Verse 2, blessed is the man unto whom Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah imputeth not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. And that comes through what? Humility. Knowing that we fucked up. Knowing that we sinned. And knowing that we need Yahweh Shai. And that's why a just man continually to fall seven times. So we can stay reliant on Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, man. Verse 3. When I kept silence, my bones waxed old through my roaring all the day long. For day and night thy hand was heavy upon me. My moisture is turned into, dr into the drought of summer. Salah. Verse 5. This is the point. I acknowledged my sin unto thee, and my iniquity have I not hid. I said I will confess my transgressions unto Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, and thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin, Salah. For this shall every one that is godly pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found. Surely in the floods of great waters they shall not come nigh unto me. 
Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. Salah. So that's what it's about, man. That's why Paul wrote this. This is the book of um, Hebrews 4 and 16. It says, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy. So we got to have confidence in the Lord's mercy. You see, the Lord will save us who is of unworthy to be saved. We are unworthy of all the mercies, as our forefather Jacob said. But yet, Yahweh Basham Yahweh is showing his mercy and his loving kindness toward us by saving us. You see, as long as we keep, may, a, 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 maintain the cause, man, hold the line. That we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. You see? And that's what it's about, man. The Lord said what? This is the book of Romans. Chapter 8. And verse 20. For the creature was made subject to vanity. We was made subject unto this body, unto sin. Not willingly, but by reason of him who hath subjected the same in hope. <laughs> so that's what it's about, man. We hope in the Lord's mercies, man. We hope in the Lord's forgiveness. By what? By forsaking our sins, making our prayer before his face, and offending less, man. Striving to do what's right in his sight continually to the best of our ability. This is Rome, not Romans, 1 Corinthians 9 and 25. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate, self-controlled, balanced in all things. That's discipline. Now, they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air. Yeah, we know uh, what we're fighting for. We know what we're hoping for. Verse 27. But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. Meaning what? I'm striving to do what's right in the eyes of Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shah, to the best of my ability. Do I slip? Do I fuck up? Yes. But that's why we have Yahweh Shah. That's why we hope in the Lord's mercies. From there, let's go to the book of Psalms. Thirty-three and eighteen. It says, "Behold, the eye of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai is upon them that fear Him, upon them that hope in His mercy, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waiteth for the Lord; He is our help and our shield. For our heart shall rejoice in Him, because we have trusted in His holy name. So we got faith and trust that the Lord is going to deliver us who who is unworthy to be delivered." Why? Because we bow the knee of our hearts, man. Because we acknowledge our sins. We acknowledge that we were sick and that we need a physician. Verse 22, let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we hope in thee. Let's get Psalms 147. It's the book of Psalms 147 and 11. It says, the Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him and those that hope in his mercy you see those that hope in his mercy this is the book of um first peter one and one it says peter an apostle of yahweh shah hamashiach to the strangers scattered throughout pontus galatia cappadocia asia and bithynia elect according to the foreknowledge of the most high the father right so it's letting you know that these strangers are israelites they're elect they're chosen According to the book of Isaiah, uh, uh, Israel, my elect, Jacob, whom I have chosen. According to the foreknowledge of the Most High, the Father, through sanctification of the spirit unto obedience. Right. I put my body under subjection and sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Hey, that's how we're, we're, our, our sins are atoned. Our sins are forgiven through the sprinkling of the blood. Grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Blessed be the power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah and our father. Of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Yeah, 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 Salaki. Blessed be the power of Yahweh and our Father of our Lord Yahweh Shai, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again 
up again it's a cut to these 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 christians unto a lively hope by the resurrection of yahweh shahamashiach from the dead keep speaking about that hope to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that fadeth not away reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of the most high through faith unto salvation ready to be revealed in the last time so that's that's our hope that's what we're waiting on man you see let's go from there let's get to uh, first john five and one it says waiting to be revealed that hope it says that 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 faith that is spoke about man faith in yahweh shah first john five and one whosoever believe that yahweh shah is of salaki whosoever believeth that yahweh shah is hamashiach is born of the most high and everyone that loveth him that begot loveth him also that is begotten of him so if you love the most high you love the son yahweh shah verse two by this we know that we love the children of the heavenly father when we love the most high and keep his commandments for this is the love of the most high that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous meaning what following the spirit the commandments is is the whole book following the book to the best of our ability verse four for whatsoever is born of the most high overcometh the world and this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith 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 is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen so hope and faith is synonymous verse five who is he that overcometh the world but he that believeth that yahweh shah is the son of yahweh and that's what it's about man you see, because it says what? First John three and one, beloved, what manner of love the father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of the heavenly father. Therefore, the world knoweth us not because it knew him not. So the Lord has called us back. And man, matter of fact, let me matter of fact, man, the water, how about Sham Yahusha? Let me get that. This is Luke 15 and 20, because this, this, this represents us, man. So when Satan come and say, uh, 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 you not worthy, hit his ass with this. This is Luke 15 and 17. And when he came to himself, he said, this is, this is a, 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 the so-called prodigal son. One son stayed, the other son left, right? We represent the son that left. Technically, all of us did, you know, verse 17. And when he came to himself, he said, how many hired servants of my father's have bread enough to spare and I perish with hunger? I will arise and go to my father, come back to our heritage, come back to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee. I acknowledge my iniquity. Verse 19. And I am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. I, I'm not worthy of the grace, of the mercy, of the love which thou uh, has given us, right? Verse 20. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight and am no more worthy to be called thy son. So that's the mindset we have. But what did Yahweh say? Verse 22. But the father said to his servants, bring forth the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet and bring hither the fatted calf and kill it and, and kill it and let us eat and marry. For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found and they began to be merry, man. And that's why it says it's joy in heaven off one sinner that repent. So Yahweh Basham Yahusha has found us to be worthy, man. So let us come to the throne of grace. You see, boldly that we may obtain mercy. Let us have confidence in Yahweh Basham Yahusha's mercy. It says it is our father's good pleasure to give us the kingdom. What does it say in uh, uh, Thessalonians? Let's grab that. I believe it's uh first Thessalonians four, if I'm not mistaken. Five. This is first Thessalonians five and nine. It says, For the most I have not appointed us to wrath, 
but to obtain salvation by our Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, man. That's why we were called into this truth, man. You see? And these things are speaking about us, man. You got to have that mentality. Like, 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 like we read. Let's read this again. If everything you tell yourself about yourself becomes a directive to your subconscious mind, then anytime you make a statement about yourself that is negative, you are directing your subconscious mind to make you become the person you just described negatively. So the same uh, uh, thing works uh, uh, in reverse. When you believe and have hope that the Lord has called you unto salvation, that you're bettering yourself in the spirit, not that I'm continually fucking up. No, that I'm continually getting better, that I'm continually growing in the grace and in the faith. That the Lord, he's shining his face upon me more and more and that he's pleased with the works that I'm doing. We got to have that mindset, man. This is first uh, uh, Timothy one and one, it says, Paul, an apostle of Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, by the commandment of the Most High, our Savior, and the Lord Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, which is our hope, unto Timothy, my, my own son in the faith, grace, mercy, and peace from the Most High, our Father, and Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, our Lord, as I besought thee to abide still at Ephesus when I went into Macedonia, that thou mightest charge some that they teach no other doctrine. There's one, one, one faith. One way, so that's a cut on these other groups as well, man. Listen, listen, uh, feel the spirit, man, of, 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 of Paul's writings unto Timothy. Put yourself there. Verse four, neither give heed to fables and endless genealogies, which minister questions rather than godly edifying, which is in faith. So do we teach uh, 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 things uh, that pertain unto salvation. You see, verse five. Now, the end of the commandment is charity out of a pure heart and of a good conscience and of faith unfeigned. Meaning what? That's the love of the brothers. That's this work that we're doing, this labor of love that we're putting forth. Verse six, for which some having swerved have turned aside unto vain jangling, desiring to be teachers of the law, understanding neither what they say nor whereof they affirm. But we know that the law is good if a man use it lawfully, strive lawfully. Right. We read that. Verse nine, knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man, but for a lawless and disobedient, for the ungodly and for the sinners, for unholy and profane, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers, for whoremongers, for them that defile themselves with mankind, for men stillers, for liars, for perjured persons. And if there be any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine. Verse 11, according to the glorious gospel of the blessed power, which was committed to my trust, I thank Hamashiach Yahweh our Lord, who hath enabled me for that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. So the Wadi Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh that he found us faithful in order to put us into the ministry. Do we deserve it? No, but the Lord is going to show his mercy through us. Verse 13, who was before a blasphemer and a persecutor and injurious, but I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. And the grace of our Lord was exceeding abundant with faith and love, which is in Hamashiach Yahweh And it's been shown in us, man. Verse 15, this is a faithful saying and worthy of all exception that Yahweh came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. You see, how be it for this cause, I obtain mercy that in me first, Yahweh Shai might show forth all long suffering for a pattern to them which should hereafter believe on him to everlasting life. So this is summing it all up, man. Verse 17. Now unto the king eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise power be honor and glory forever and ever a month. This charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before on thee, that thou by them mightest war a good warfare. So Paul is explaining that the Lord had mercy on him, that the Lord is going to show his mercy and kindness through him. And that the prophecies, the things that are written in the book was concerning Timothy. He's using this to explain that, look, these prophecies about the Lord showing mercy 
about uh, uh, men's sins uh, being forgiven them, about salvation coming to certain people, or talking about you. So that by them thou mightest war a good warfare. Put on the whole armor of the Lord. These words are speaking about us, man. We have to uh, 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 believe that. These words, this Bible, the salvation that's coming to the uh, the people that's described within these pages is talking about us, man. Verse 19, holding faith in a good conscience, which some having put away concerning faith have made shipwreck of whom is Hymenaeus and Alexander, whom I have delivered unto Satan that they may learn not to blaspheme, man. So we got to hold fast our faith. Psalms 51. We have to pray that Yahweh Basham Yahweh shall take not his Holy Spirit away from us, man, to cast us not out of his presence. His presence is this knowledge, is this word. So we got to continue to pray for more faith, more guidance, you know, more prudence, more integrity, the traits and the things that's needed in order for us to prosper in the spirit. Because the Lord hath not appointed us to wrath, but unto salvation. And the Lord ain't going to leave us lacking, dog. He going to give us the things necessary in order to obtain that salvation. That's why we have to cry out to him. You know? But Lord willing, man, that's all I had through the spirit, man. Man, I Lord willing, I hope that was edifying, encouraging, exhorting, man, uplifting, empowering, you know, through the spirit, man. The water, how about Sham Yahusha for giving me the uh, spirit to do this lesson. Um... Hey, call halal yam la yahawa bahasham yahawa shai barachah kwadash double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone peace blessing salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel and truth and sincerity always in charity hey shalom bros stay strong <laughs>